Alright guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to dash uh, with Yasuo over a couple walls. Um, how you can manipulate some um, uh, camps in the jungle to dash over walls. Okay, one of the most important things you wanna do with um, dashing on Yasuo, what you need is like, you have to bind something. It's like, you go to your options, go to your abilities and summoner spells, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then you see it, target champions only. I have it on the mouse button because it's the easiest to get to. So that means if there is a um, bird or something else, just everything besides uh, um, a champion, even towers. You can see that's the sword thing, I can attack it. And now I press mouse button 5 and it's just my mouse. So I have my sword and I want to go close enough so you can see it's pretty hard because he wants to attack it. If I press this mouse button I can just walk easily around it. Same with the enemies. If I want to go over to dash over the bird, you can see the sword is blocking it. Now my mouse I can walk easily. Test it with the sword. It's like, yeah, that's you have to deal with all the auto attacks while that. So let me show you with, um, with my mouse button. I just go over here, press mouse button 5. Walk close. It's mouse button 5, I can just go over them. And that's the dash. But what you gotta remember is like, you can't dash them when you have your mouse button on. You can't use ability, uh, you can't use your E because you have to press on uh, the enemy. So mouse button five, go to it and wrong. I didn't make the dash, but you can see it's working. And that's the most important thing. You like the first thing you gotta know about dashing is like as close as you are, you dash farther. So I think I'm gonna land over here. Oh, wrong button. That's where I am. Wait. Let me just show you that. So I'm standing really close to it now. And that's where I got. I came to this place. Over here. If I stand now far away in the dash now. That's where I got. Just like right behind it. So as you s if you stand closer to your enemy you dash farther. That's what you gotta know about wall dashing. So if I stand here I can dash over the wall. Same that of course from that side, but if I stand over here and I dash, I'm just dashing into him and not over the wall. So alright guys, um, here's the first thing, what you can do is like to, if you, if you have an enemy in front of you and you have to follow him and he's that far away, you might be, you won't be able to catch up to him and he's uh, probably going this way. So what you can do is now cue the wolf, go close to the wall and obviously you can dash over the wall then and catch up with him. Like that's actually a far distance, I just like, could catch up there. I'm gonna try to show you again real quick. Um, I did it already a couple times, I have it in some of my montages when I play Yasu. It really works very well, just practice it a, little a couple times, go over there. Now I pulled it really bad. Now like, that's actually a bad pull, but I managed to do it. What you wanna do, um, how you wanna pull the wolves the best is like getting them to this spot because that's where the wall is the closest, at uh, the smallest size. So let's try it again. This time it's easy, and you just like go from there to there in a couple seconds. Besides going all around while he is going this way. Okay, next are the birds. Um, you probably saw it in a montage or whatever, how people dash over the wall. And most likely I do it with that uh, bird over there, I don't know if yeah, it works with them as well. With that one. Let me reset them real quick. It's actually annoying that I follow you all the way over there. So, that's the first you can do. You can stay on that side, like actually the closest to it, and dash over to that um, small bird. Or you go over there and dash to this one. And then you can actu actually, if, you, if I was just walking over there now, I could have dashed over there. Let me show you. Let me show you real quick. So you can dash from here to here to here. It goes through. Actually, that's how you do it. And you actually just went all the way just with two E's. Some camps, if you want to dash them quickly, you gotta be careful if you're full build that you don't one shot the small birds with an actually accidentally auto attack or whatever. So you gotta be careful with that. 
Like if it's only level 1, you have to wait another second that you can dash again, which actually fucking sucks. Yeah, that's not another way to do it, even if I fucked it up once. It was actually pretty fast anyways. So let's go over the wolves. Dash over that one. Oh fuck, reset and go over that one. That's another way how to dash fast over the uh, wolf camps. Over here, actually it's the same I did on top side because it's just the same jungle. You can go over here and pull it. And then dash over the wall. That's actually how you should all do it. Um, most of the times I got it in the air over that place on top side because over here I think, don't think about it all the time. Then there's one of the easiest uh, dashes, you just go to the grump, stand over here and dash. That's all you gotta do. It's actually just stand as close as you can to his stomach. Also you can do it from that side. Another thing you can do is like, let me, like do that. So now I have no vision. But you know, like, Grump always is over here, so you can W and then dash over there. Even if I just uh, misclicked a second, it, it works as well. Another important dash is over here from the Grumps, uh, from the Golems. You can dash from that side um, to the Golems, and you can dash from that side as well. Just show you. I have to reset all the time. It's actually annoying, sorry guys. I tried to cut the video a little bit. So, as well, just stand in front of it and dash. Um, sometimes I fuck the dash up as well. It's actually most the one of the most easiest, I think. But you can fuck him as well, like I did, and then I can do it with that one. Sometimes I fuck it with the small one first, and then get it with the second one. Let me try that one. Once real quick. I fucked it. Uh, this time I made it. That's how you can do it, guys. But uh, don't forget that, like, if you're on this side where I'm standing right now, you can't dash on the big one. It's too far away. It's way too far away, but the small one always works. It's pretty easy, just stand over here anyways. And now it's the same thing again. Let me reset them real quick. You have no vision or whatever. And the plant isn't there, right? And you gotta run away because people are coming from behind you, like from here. So what you can do is like W and E and you're out. And if they flash uh, behind you, you can dash back over the wall again and you're out. Like, you dash over, they flash over here and you dash back. And if they have another dash and follow you, you have to flash ready, probably. So that's what you can do. And now I fucked it. Sometimes it doesn't work that well. Okay, there's another dash I once did. I'm not sure anymore if it was with the small one. Yep. That's how you can gank a lane if you want to play Yasuo jungle. Fucked it. And dash. And I'm on the lane, like, I'm literally under the tower. Like, even if the tower is a tower and your minions are below, you have no trouble. Or if the tower is gone, you actually dashed over that far distance, which is great. Ah, this time I fucked it. And I'm over here now. Like, dashing over the walls is pretty easy. Um, same with that grump. Just go over here and dash. That's actually the easiest, if you ask me. There's another thing you can do with the scuttle crab. Sometimes I do it. Doesn't work always because over here it jumps, as you can see. That's actually annoying. You have to get it close to the wall, so you can dash over it. And try it until I got it, I wanna... Uh, I will cut it, and you will see it when I got it. And here we go, there you saw it. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Because over here in that area, this gunner crab is always, like, dashing away already. Which is pretty annoying. Um, same with here with the grumps, and with the golems again. And yeah, with your E, you gotta be careful that it's skilled as much as you need it. Like, sometimes you have to be fast before they move. That's what you can do as well, just like outplaying people, dashing over the wall, forward and backward again. Just things you can do with the jungle, play around with it. Okay, now you come to the blue buff. Go on the top side of it and dash down to the bottom wall. It's actually it's meh. The jump is decent hard. It's like you have to stand uh, on the best side you can. It's hard to explain. And also from the downside you can't dash up over there. Now I want to show you the hardest Yasu dash in the game. Um, might take a couple tries for me, so I will cut it out if you, if I don't get it that early. 
So what you gotta do now is go behind the blue buff over there in the forest thing. Do it to pull it to you. I can see it. Now it came. Go over here and this time I fucked it. What you wanna do is try to stand over here and dash over that wall. So give me a couple tries and I will you will see me when I'm when I got it. Yeah, this time I got it finally. It didn't took me that long, like one or two minutes. I know it sounds hard. But like yeah. You won't be able to use it in in a rank match or whatever probably. Besides you wanna train it two days in a row. And yeah, so even if I misplay it right now, I wanna explain it to you again. You go behind the blue buff over here, you attack it and you gotta you want it to get like pulled to you closer. This time it didn't work as you can see it just stands there. What I try now is pulling it away and go over there to pull it close. And now it's on the bottom side, it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Like you guys can't go over here. Now I won't make it. I was too far away from the stomach. So too much distance from the thing you wanna dash to the wall. So you gotta go close enough and then dash. With control B, now with shift and B you can place dummies. And then you can go close to them and dash over walls. You can see, you will see how over how many walls you can you are able to dash. It's actually insane. Of course, it won't uh, happen all the time, but you see now it's like actually that was too far from away from the wall, and that works again. So you can see you can dash over every fucking wall almost in the game. You can also dash over that wall. Believe me. Wait, wait, wait! I got this. Wait, wait. There you go. You can also dash over that fucking big wall. Like, look at that fucking distance. So, I think that's all for now. I hope you liked the video. If it helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, you got a Twitch channel. So, if you want to check it out, it's on the fucking description. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one.